Hi, my name is Juan Sanchez. Uh, I run Scale9.com, which is a website dedicated to creating custom themes and skins for Flex and Air applications. Uh, today, in the screencast, I'm going to be walking through an introduction to Adobe's new interaction design tool, uh, Adobe Flash Catalyst. We're going to walk through some of the uh, different interface elements within Flash Catalyst and uh, look at creating some uh, interactions within a Flex application. So here's the uh, opening screen for Flash Catalyst. As you can see, it feels very much like an Adobe Creative Suite application. We have the ability to open a project, uh, import artwork from Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, as well as from uh, an FXG file. So for this screencast, I'm going to create a new Flash Catalyst project. I'm going to leave uh, some of the default settings. So here's the uh, working area within Flash Catalyst. Um, you can see it feels very much like a design tool, very familiar uh, to other Adobe Creative Suite applications. Uh, up here at the top, we have uh, different pages that allow us to build up interactions across uh, different views within our application. Uh, if you use Fireworks, you might be familiar with this terminology. Um, you also have the ability to create uh, new states um, for different views within your application. Over here on the right, you have different uh, drawing tools and uh, arrow tools for interacting with your uh, graphics content. Uh, layers, which should be familiar to those of you who are designers. Um, I have the ability to uh, add new components to the stage by double clicking and I can edit these. As I'm interacting with the elements, you notice this floating panel here, which is called the HUD within Flash Catalyst, which is a heads-up display. And it gives me several options here for interacting with this specific component. Um, and I can also add interactions. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to delete that. We also have the ability to add different uh, transitions and effects. Uh, again, if you're familiar with Flex, um, you have effects and transitions, which usually you have to do through MXML, but now you have a visual way to uh, create interactions or create transitions and effects. So that's kind of just the basic overview of uh, the Flash Catalyst uh, user interface. There's much more uh, features uh, within this, but those are kind of the basics. I can also switch to the code view and take a look at things. So let's just go ahead and, and create a custom uh, button component. And I'll select that uh, uh, rounded rectangle tool. I'll just draw a rectangle here. I have different properties that I can change, so uh, we'll just make a vibrant red uh, button for the moment, and uh, we'll add some text, and I'll make that text just a little bit bigger, and I'll move that under my button here. So now basically you have some artwork here. Um, you have some text and a round rectangle. So just as you've seen in other demos, um, I can select those, either right click and say convert selected artwork to button, or within the HUD, I can convert this artwork to a, a button or other component. So in this case, I'm going to create a button. So it's taken that artwork and now created a button component. And if I double click on that, you can see it's automatically created some very familiar states here in Flex, the up, over, down, and disabled states. So now I can go ahead and start customizing you know, each state here. So I'm going to use my good design sense here and just make a button that really pops. <laughs> um, so that's our over state, uh, down state. Uh, I'll change that here as well. Maybe make that... Uh, nice green. Um, so 
Of course, this is no design applied to it just to get the uh, idea across so we're making different states. You can also see as uh, I've interacted or uh, changed these states um, that we have different transitions that can be added in here, which I'll cover hopefully in a future screencast. Um, so now I can go out to um, go out to uh, the root of the document here, and if I run this project, it's going to compile and hopefully give us a interactive button component uh, compiled as a Swift. So there we have our interactive button content, downstate switches, overstate, and so on. So there you go, a basic uh, button component. The uh, Also the nice thing about this is uh, you get a design view, but you also get the uh, code view, which I don't believe has been covered uh, too much. But uh, one thing that you'll notice is there's no uh, initial support here for gradients in this beta release uh, or max preview release of Flash Catalyst. But if I go into code view, you can see there's a very uh, familiar markup here if you've used the graph or uh, started playing around with FXG. So what I can do is actually change this from a solid color and uh, get some code in here for linear gradient. We'll set the uh, rotation to 90 and we'll add some uh, gradient entries, set a color for white and then we'll have the bottom color be a gray. And you can see once I move back into design view, it's actually added that gradient. So even though there's no support initially in this max preview release of Flash Catalyst, you can get a sense of how the design view and the code view um, play well together. Uh, whether you're a designer or a developer, you can interact in a way that you feel is best suited to your skill sets. So that's kind of the basics, uh, just a quick introduction to um, Flash Catalyst. Um, for uh, more information about creating custom user interfaces, skins, themes, and hopefully future Flash Catalyst content, you can check out scale9.com.